Hey guys. I'm traveling to Shanghai today to meet with two of my former classmates from Peagle program, Zhejiang University. Um, let's have some fun. My name is Eliha. Uh, my name is Tufan. So right now we are in Shanghai. I'm working for technology startup, which creates software services for patient e-commerce platform and brands. As a customer, you can enter your basic body measurement, which is height and weight. Then you will have your digital avatar, which is exactly the same with your body model. And you will find the best fit for you before you buy it. I'm working for Softec China. This is innovation office located in Shanghai. And our headquarter company is one of the largest tech company in Turkey. The company decided to open up a few innovation offices overseas to follow the trends. So that's why they first decided to open up one in Silicon Valley in 2016, another one here in Shanghai. Now I'm working as corporate innovation specialist. In my country, in Turkey, uh, everybody knows about United States, Europe, but not that many people has some engagement with China. And if you follow the news trends, you hear a lot about China, China tech ecosystem, new uh, technology implementation here in China. So I said it might be a good opportunity for me to be here and experience all the things here, experience the new business models by myself here. So that's why uh, I decided to come. So for me, back in Turkey, I studied engineering. But after I get my degree, I wanted to switch. Uh, I was looking for entrepreneurship, innovation, and technology kind of stuff. And I always wanted to get my master's degree abroad, not in Turkey, to learn more about culture, how to do business internationally. Then I found this program, which is perfect fit for me the Piggle, like innovation, entrepreneurship and global leadership. I, and it was in China. Uh, every, as Tufan mentioned, oh, many people know about the US, Europe, and, but not many information about China. And I thought that's a great opportunity for me. So that's why I came here. It was great experience for me. Uh, I came alone, even though we applied together, we got accepted. I thought be coming alone will be more challenging and maybe that I will get more benefit. Uh, it was perfect decision. I came, I really enjoyed it, and I encourage him to come and uh, get this experience. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. learned to be a manager, mm -hmm. master in management, both mm -hmm. of you. How does it help you to do what you're doing today? Okay, so especially that our class was full of international people all over the world. And we, our courses were about how to do business internationally, working with different cultures, the cultural conflict, how we can manage them well. It is really useful for me because I live in Shanghai, China, but I work with the Indian people. My company like focusing on Indian market and founder are Indian. And I also had managing some clients from Europe, which is multicultural for me. And it was really beneficial to see these kind of courses. And so I feel like I have some experience how to deal with the different culture, different perspective. It helped me a lot. In addition to her, uh, from my side, uh, almost every week we had different cases. We analyzed different companies startups all over the world, for instance, one about Lego from Denmark, the other was about Boeing, Xiaomi, for instance. So analyzing uh, different business models from all over the world with, from Chinese perspective, from European perspective. As Zelia mentioned, we have students from all over the world. So those different perspectives really helped me uh, to being here at the end, actually. Uh, can you name a few places or maybe your favorite place in Hangzhou? <laughs> okay. The Westlake yeah, is the yeah. top. I was about to say. Around Westlake there are many different places. We are in a city which has more than 10 million people, I think. But at the same time you can really feel the nature there, the forest, the lake. It was really amazing for me. Because before coming to China, I just 
imagine that walk around in the factories. You know, this, this, that was my imagination before coming here. Like grey sky maybe, but in Hanja especially, it's totally green, perfect nature. So I really enjoyed that moment. I mean, if you only spend some time in Zhejiang province in Hanjo, you feel that it's so small. But if you take a flight and like fly three hours and you are still in China, that at that point you felt that it's really a huge country. If you go a bit further, then you are still in China, but total different ethnicity, total, total different culture. So it's really, in that point, it's really amazed me, actually. I get chance to travel a lot when I'm a student, together with my classmate. It was amazing. Uh, I went to Beijing, I went to Xi'an, Fuzhou, I went to Hong Kong, Xiamen, many places that maybe I forget some of the cities already, but each trip was very unique, each trip was very beautiful. I cannot choose one of the best because all of them are the best. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was really nice. I'm missing those days, actually. Uh, for me, I, I think I'm still in China, but the difference is I speak fully in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't need to check the dictionary or ask my friend, can you help me with this? So I'm perfectly speaking Chinese. Uh, maybe I'm working like a bigger team. Uh, in the managing many people, working with a different environment. Uh, but I'm able to travel uh, outside of the China and come back to China. I feel that I will always keep my relationship with China and Chinese people, Chinese companies. I will use it. Uh, maybe I don't know where I'm living. Maybe I'm living China a little bit, maybe uh, some Europe, Turkey. I would like to travel more in five years actually. For me, as Zelia mentioned, I also want to speak in Chinese fluently, hopefully in, in five years. Uh, like here, every, every foreign student or Lawai, we speak Adian Dian now, but hopefully in five years I speak fluently. Uh, in addition to speaking Chinese, um, I want to understand the culture here in China and also in Asia better. For me, I think I made a great choice. If I go back, I will do the same again. Because I feel that I grow, I develop myself a lot here. But I remember the first, first day when I came here, I was so shy. I had no friend because uh, like some coincidence happened to me. They didn't let me know that there is an opening ceremony of Pigel. Uh, it was like, uh, I was sitting in my room alone. I didn't know where to go, who is my classmate. I, feel, I was feeling so lonely and uh, interestingly that day it was my birthday and it was my first day in China. Uh, and I went to classroom, everyone is talking to each other, they know each other. I was feeling like where I we should sit, why I came here. I was crying, I was calling him actually. Maybe I should not be here, I feel so lonely, I don't know anyone. But after that, since our class started, our uh, courses started, group work started, I made a friend for life. I'm still in touch with them, even though we are not together physically. We still have a talk, we still share uh, what is good our life, what is bad our life, we still help each other which is amazing, so, and also I feel that I learn a lot here. Uh, I met with different cultures, different languages. Uh, I feel better. I definitely made the right choice for myself. I will do it again. For me, almost the same. Actually, I, 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 if I had that chance and back in time, I, I would need to do the same, like do the decision on that. Maybe one year earlier, we can come together. Uh, no, I think this is, this I, is, yeah, this is think, really yeah. best for both of us, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish they can get a chance to come here to experience what we experience it. But even though they are not here physically, they have they still have each other online. And they can, I mean, if they want to learn or ask something, we are always here. I think we are open, not only us, all the Piggle people. We have some many other uh, classmates who still live in China. So they should not be disappointed, feel sad about they are not physically here. 
but I think they are still getting the same vibe because sometimes we also had some online gathering because he, for example his second year was kind of on, online too yeah. so maybe he can uh, tell a little more what was the difference of first and second year yeah I mean of course physically being here is another level but uh, you can still talk with people who are who are already here and, and get their ideas, their opinions about some particular problem or, or uh, situation. But I wish I wish they can be here and, and experience this uh, China by themselves. Um, maybe I can add one thing. For example, I uh, had a meeting, the online meeting, one of the Pigle students, which I never met, but still we, he found me and we had a good discussion. We helped each other, so they can still do that. I mean. We can still do that. Actually, you know what? I want to visit all our classmates in their country. I want to go to Peru, I want to go to South Africa, I want to go to the Europe, US, everywhere. You yeah. have a long list. We have a yes, long list. Yes, yes. <laughs> we have 54 countries yes. represented. Yes. Can you imagine? Yes.